happens in the mitochondria when you could think of as a cell's energy factory. Double membrane organelles, an inner membrane and an outer one as well. The colas is in cosmic energy H and FADH2 from energy and food. Carriers make their way from the matrix to the inner membrane space. That's where you find an electron transport chain. It's a series of enzymes embedded in the membrane. The electron carrier is an electron that uses the energy from pumping protons. The mitochondrial the electron transport chain uses electron energy from pumping protons. Often the mitochondria makes sure the inner membrane space and increases the blood concentration in that plate. The protons can escape through the channel and ends up in the same phase, which uses the beam protons' kinetic energy to make ATP from ATP and P. The chain is a series of electrons in a row. Each is the electrons that lets them go. Carrier in this transport chain. It's organized kind of like a bucket brigade. Show down this enzymatic series at the ground level. Each carries electronegativity. And to oxygen, electrons ultimately fall. It's the most electronegative of them all. It's NADH that starts this run, donating electrons to complex number one. Transport as protons are displaced and get pumped from the matrix to the intermembrane space. Complex one, electron flow. Two, ubiquinone, also known as Q. Which flows through the intermembrane happily and brings its electrons to complex three. And you can guess the function of complex three. It's another proton pump using electron energy. Protons came up in that intermembrane apartment. Like a hundred people in one bedroom apartment. The, the mitochondrial electron transport chain uses electron energy pumping from the proton pump. The mitochondrial makes sure the intermembrane space and increases the blood concentration in that place. Protons can escape through a channel and ends in a phase phase, which uses the fusion proton's kinetic energy to make ATP from an ATP and P. FADH2, which donates electrons, which then gets passed to Q. Which once again passes into complex 3, which pumps protons using electron energy. Complex 3, the electrons proceed to another mobile carrier, cytochrome C. Which donates the electrons to complex 4, another proton pump? Could you ask for more? After complex 4, electrons flow to oxygen, which is ever so. Electron negative, it pulls electrons down the chain, keeping them moving like a car of a train. And as O2 does this electron grabbing trick, it also grabs protons from the matrix. The combined form H2O electron transport chain, watch it go. The, the mitochondrial electron transport chain uses electron energy pumping protons from the, the mitochondria makes sure the inner membrane space increasing protons concentration in that place. The only way the protons can escape is through a channel and ends in an ATP phase, which uses the fusion protons' kinetic energy to make ATP from an ATP and P. Now all of these protons in the intermediate space are they trapped? They can't get out of that place because protons are charged and they could never get through a phosphorylated bilayer. They can't diffuse. But like all particles, they're dying to go from where their concentration's high to where it's low. Back in the intermembrane space, they're frustrated to diffuse the matrix. They're highly motivated. And this gradient's been made steeper by O2, which absorbs protons from matrix stew. So from proton pumping and oxygen's actions, add another force. All electrochemical attraction. Trap protons. Each one's positive. The matrix in comparison is negative. Opposites attract, so the protons are dying to get to the matrix. Oh, how they're trying. There's only one channel that lets protons pass, and they use it like a high school student bursting out of class. It's a channel and an enzyme. It's like ATP synthase. The closer in this game, an energy ace. Each side of ATP synthase has blinding sites for ADP and P, which come in and blind. And as ATP synthase lets protons march through, the kinetic energy gets put to use. Like water through a turbine, proton movement generates rotation, changes synthesis, binding site conformation, which catalyzes chemical bond formation. ADP and P makes ATP the energy sensation. The mitochondrial electron transport chain uses electron energy pumping protons from the mitochondria makes sure the inner membrane space increases the concentration in that place. Protons can escape through a channel and ends in an ATP phase, which uses the fusion protons' kinetic energy to make ATP from an ATP and P. Here are the bloopers!
<laughs> get pumped into the Matrix and the Intermittent movies. <laughs> Electrons down this elect. Okay, no, no. <laughs> and you can guess the function of. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. NADH. NADH. Okay. <laughs> The chorus is No Paminata <laughs> Protons jam up in that intermembrane apartment. That was not <laughs> Have to. <laughs> That's horrible! <laughs> <laughs>